What up guys, DJ Circuitcision here, and uh, I just thought I'd do another quick tutorial because uh, I know on my other one, the Learn Your Two-Click Player, so it didn't go too far in depth on uh, how to uh, do some of the patterns that I was showing, so I decided to do this quick video. I'm going to start off with a quick little, like, really short freestyle, so you can see what uh, kind of styles I'm doing. <laughs> So that's just an example as to what I'm doing exactly. Um, records I'm using, I am using a, a Audio Side by I Emerge, a very good battle record, probably my favorite in my collection. You can get this uh, still here for four bucks, so I I had to get two just for the pair. Uh, let's see, so let's start using a Ultra Pitch. Got my TTX pitch down to thirty percent. Really slow aw. Using an Orphan uh, Pro S. Because uh, the M44s are for my 1200 <laughs> But basically, what I've been doing is uh, doing a lot of uh, fader babies, as y DJ Yoshi calls them from the Beat for Battle, or Yoshi TTR is his name on YouTube. Basically, you're doing a baby scratch, but then you're using the fader like a reverse chirp, where you're opening and closing it. Like the chirp is like closing it and opening, you're doing a reverse of that opening and closing. And I mean with that you get into the boomerang type patterns, which is the boomerang is open, close, click, open, close, click. Or excuse me, um, stab. Open, close, stab, open, close, stab. And that basically is the Two click flare pattern. And once you get into that, you can then do the autobahn. Open, close, stab, open, close, stab, open, close, stab. So, uh, with those, you can really get into some really neat patterns. This is one I use uh, with three click flare. This is a three click flare. which is basically three clicks. So basically it is a crab, because it's an open crab. But it's a little more cleaner, so. Oh shit, what the hell is this? I said I put it on a loop. There, now you know all my secret. I listen to fucking weird shit anyway. Beat is actually, I just call it Dirty Scratch Beat. I do lots of two clip players in my patterns. I'm also doing uh, lots of delayed two clip players. Which involve the Fader Baby. You could also do a tear backwards after that. Also doing that pattern a lot. I don't know what you'd call it. I can't even put it into words, but I use I resort to this pattern a lot. Also, another thing I've been doing lately is when I finish a, like a phrase or sentence, whatever that's called, I like to do three pushes, uh, three tears forward. I don't know what you call them, just three pushes. Oh, 
Also that helps a lot like when you do like this. Gets a really cool sound. That's a three click player. Uh, you're just clicking over, uh, I think, a tear. Dude, the three clicks over, too. Um, another one, another thing I noticed that helps is uh, if you do basic transform patterns in between really intense scratches, it makes it, gives it a happy, happy medium, like... It gives it a sense of order because I mean these are pretty in, in time. And all I'm doing is the Jazzy Jeff Peter Piper pattern, which is a. Uh... Let's see if we can get a different sample. So I mean the Jazzy Jeff pattern is this. Also trying to copy the DJ Shadow move, where if you have ever seen the movie Scratch, he has a little segment where he scratches at Hubert's house, and he does really fast triplet stabs, which I cannot do. Yeah, I can't do those really fast. Shadow's insane at scratching. This is another pattern I like to resort to. Chirp, two click flare. Let me go back to the awe. Basically, just a chirp. So, uh, I mean, those, most of my patterns that I use, I mean, I'm not, I don't consider myself that good at scratching compared to some other people that I've seen, but I think I can decently hold my own. So, uh, that's it. So, if there's any questions you have about combination or something, Ask me. actually scratching backwards, or putting the record backwards. It makes it a little, it's a little strange at first, but I actually don't mind scratching this way. But, um, you need, a, I have a Super Seal, Best of Super Seal, and it actually has a little track that has a backwards on and a backwards fresh. So when you play it backwards on the turntable, it sounds normal. But yeah, scratching backwards is pretty fun. So that's pretty much it.
One last thing, in other news, my PMC05 Pro 3 finally died. Um, basically shorted itself out. Uh, shout out to my homeboy uh, DJ Lotus. He's, he said uh, he tried fixing it, so right now it's with him. And so I might be getting it back fixed, so maybe I'll be finally be able to get it, because I really want to innovate it. And I was about to buy the innovator PMP for it right before it shorted out, so. Because I don't really think an innovator is worth putting in a in a TTM56, so I'll stick it in the 05. So well, that's it, you know, if you have any other questions, just share them with me. Thank you.